Hi, lovelies. Can you hear us now? <laughs> Can you hear us now? I'll have to wait a minute. Yeah, everybody's like, no sound, no sound. No sound. Okay, good. Now they can hear me. Oh my gosh. Well, hello, my lovelies. <laughs> hello again. <laughs> You've just been seeing me talking, just my lips moving and no sound. So let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> hello, my lovelies. How are you? It's Christy from ribsbabstash.com. We're an online quilt shop located in Moscow, Idaho. And, um, <laughs> Today we are talking about the Janome machines. Yes, I'm starting over. Okay, everybody's like, start over, start over. Adra, hey, we have a question for you. Um, I, the little pink uh, flower pink cup thingy, I think I sent you one uh, and I see that you ordered two. So um, anyway, I think Cheryl might have been trying to get a hold of you or something, but I think I sent you one I, and we were trying to confirm that before I send you the other one. Okay. <sighs> so, <laughs> Janome machines are on sale. Huge deals to be had between now and the end of the year. So that's why we're out here um, in the shop area, kind of set up a little different uh, studio so we can show you all the machines. So in the store, we have two embroidery machines. Can you tell I love embroidery? <laughs> <laughs> um, and we have the 550E and the 550 um is the one that comes with the largest hoop, which is the eight by 14 hoop. So we're gonna show you a couple of things on the embroidery machine today. Mm -hmm. um, the 550, I can only sell here in the store, but the 500, I can ship anywhere. The 500, the largest hoop is the eight by 10 hoop, which is great. You can still get a lot of projects done with that. Now, the 550 is normally 39.99. Sorry, I don't have my readers on, so I'm doing the whole trombone thing. Um, the 550 is normally $39.99, and it's on sale now for $34.99. And this is the one that um, you can only buy in the store. The 500E is the one that I can ship all over the country. It's normally $29.99. It's $1,000 off. It's $19.99. <laughs> And when I said that the first time, Mary Beth went, woo, but then you couldn't hear us because the sound was on. So, um, and Sandy Hoff, she's on here a lot. She has a 550E that she bought. Um, let's see, it looks like Sandra has a 550E. And yeah, so that, and then Tony has the 500E. She bought the 500E from me at the, in January, I think. So anyway, if you've been thinking about an embroidery machine, now's the time to get it. $19.99 for the 500E. That's the one I can ship all over. The 550, I have to sell to you in the store. So come and see me um, if you want that one with a larger hoop. Um, we also have a Skyline S5 in the store. We have an Air Threader Serger in the store. Um, and we have the 9850 is a really nice sewing and quilting machine. Um, and then we have a couple of great uh, machines that are awesome for um, for taking the quilt camp. The twenty, the third, what is it? The twenty one fifty and the thirty one sixty or something. But anyway, so those are all on sale. So as I go through um, all of the different machines, um, you can. I'll tell you what the prices are too. So and there's a lot of machines that I don't have in this store because I. I don't have $20,000 to buy all the machines. I would like to, but I don't. <laughs> but I can still um, I can still sell the machines. Some of them are in store, and I'll go through that. And then some of them, a lot of them are, um, I can ship them anywhere. So thanks for joining me today. <laughs> it's been crazy. <laughs> and then in the background, you'll see all of our lovely quilts. They did a great job um, setting this up. We've got the Cozy Christmas sampler over here that mom made I think back in uh, 2016 or so is when that one came out that's a Lori Holt um, cute little applique project and then above that we have the Juju um, that's an embroidery project um, it's a Juju table runner with chickens gotta have the chickens I know we gotta have the chickens <laughs> and we have those kits and then we have the Pacific Northwest quilt uh, behind us that's a Reb Spab Stash exclusive Lots of pretties there. Yes, there are lots of pretties here. And then more embroidery projects um, and all the fun things. So, can't see the, I move my head. You can see the North Pole tree skirt in the corner there. Oh, yeah. 
see there <laughs> i can move over here and then you can see so we're going to have uh when we start showing the different machines um we have another camera set up that um <clears throat> we'll turn on so you can see a little close up so are you ready with your I stuff i think i am for this one okay <laughs> so we are what Maybe. are we doing i'm gonna demonstrate threading that oh yes we're gonna demonstrate threading the machine so we need we need mobile a mobile camera <laughs> over here Oh, which one? Yes. yes. So I'm going to demonstrate this. Right. Okay. So how about I get the camera? Can you get in close? And I will bring it around. Okay. So what we're going to do. Hi. <laughs> Hello, my lovely. It's okay, a very big so. selfie stick. I know. A very <laughs> amazing big selfie stick. Okay. So we are going to show you how to thread the machine. This is uh, the Janome 5. 50 um, and the 500 you thread exactly the same so the first thing I learned <clears throat> was to make sure that your base of whatever size thread you have is sitting really well on this base right here otherwise it'll flip-flop and then always make sure that you've got the correct size stopper if you can hold it <laughs> that's not good <laughs> okay okay I got it now um, so you want the red, the right size stopper because like for isocord, that's going to go in there really well. Some of the others that have a bigger opening, you want to go with the three quarter inch stopper and so on. So always make sure you've got the right stopper. So I'm going to put that in there. Make sure the base is snug. And then over here, we're going to do something a little different than we normally do. We go around the back as usual and then over the top. So I take the thread over, put my finger there, and loop it around. So it's gone around this stem. And then through the usual channels, up and around and over. Don't you find that you can start a new machine and you can do the exact same motion? So it's just the top that's different here. And then going in here and make sure you always put your thread through the needle guides that will hold it close to the needle. Now, this particular machine right now, I think we have to take it in because the little needle, the hook that comes through for the needle threader is not really hitting the eye. So you get to see how well I can manually thread this. Woo, first time, yay. Okay, all right, so that's threading the 550E. Cool. And you want me to keep going? Sure. Okay. So um, to start an embroidery project, I have my hoop and I've loaded in this instance, clear mesh. Um, a lot of the Juju designs patterns just call for clear mesh. Of course, there's a, so many stabilizers, so many stabilizers. So make sure you are <laughs> using the one they tell you to use. So this one's got the clear mesh and I've got it set up for the program. So I'm just going to start it and it's going to do the outline for me oh can you see it yeah, okay. Oh, okay so oh, here yeah. so it's screen. Yeah. Yeah. showing me exactly where it's going to go so this is the outline and that's my padding over there jackie can you help me by the iron oh, there's a water the there right there is it yep all right. yeah all right so this is the Placement um, line. Placement line, yeah. For the batting. Cool. <clears throat> it's just really painting by numbers, but you come out with a quilting project. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to place the batting, yep. take off all my little bits of threads. I don't know where they came from. So I just need to make sure that it's covering that placement line all the way around. there like that and if um <clears throat> if you're adventurous that's not good <laughs> if you're adventurous you can just um guide it with your hands but i've been known to get my fingers stuck under not not the needle thankfully but um under the needle bar once or twice 
So I'm going to tape this down around the edges. You don't you don't want to get too close to that placement line though because if the needle goes through the tape, it's really sticky and then it's kind of a pain. And I'm going to put this in. All right, so I'm going to just kind of hold that down. And then over here on the screen, it's now showing me where you can't see probably very well a yellow line pretty much going over the other line, but now this is going to stitch down the batting for me. Okay. Cool. So, and then the next step is to put down the background fabric and then all the things. But I don't want to, I don't think you want to do the whole... Not the whole thing, but you get the idea that it pretty much tells you every step that you're going to do over here. When we finish this one, it'll, I'll just show you on the screen the next step so you get an idea. It's going to go around again. <laughs> but once this is done, then it'll tell me to trim off the excess around the edges. And then it'll put, um, then they'll tell me to put the backing, the background fabric for my piece over it. And then it'll tack that down. And then it'll start putting lines for the design on it. So, okay, so we're going to go to the screen here at the end. Okay, and then let's move on to the threader or the, yeah, the serger. Okay, so once that's done, right, the pepper foot. And you can, maybe you can see the design starting there. So it'll, next it will have me do, right, so that one. Cool. 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 So it, the next one it'll do is it'll do the background fabric, then it'll do the quilting. And then it'll do step by step, it'll do the design and the applique pieces. So it just goes through so that placement, placement and then tack down, placement, tack down, placement, and tack down, and all the way through. And then the embroidery the design. And this is for the seasonal seasonal interchangeable pillow. Interchangeable pillow, right? Yeah, I've got the top part done. Here you go. There's the top of that section so the one I'm working on is the body of the the bottom part of the cardinal yeah so the bottom half yep yep so that, so that gives you an idea of how quick and easy it is running, they can't hear okay they oh can't they hear. can't hear well oh, oh, machines okay. okay okay well basically it's quote by numbers <laughs> yeah <laughs> you get a project done here's my water um, bottle we're skipping this one because I've got to read the manual a little bit oh okay because <laughs> yeah, I've okay. forgotten how to read this I haven't read it so are we moving on to the skyline so or should it's we come over here? I didn't know you were going to demo this one. So you okay. Can it like, yeah. Okay. How about I do the yeah, edge, the edge of that thing on the embroidery machine? There you go. Okay. So now this one, this design is, um, I have this machine. This is another embroidery machine. Um, and this one is set up to do edge to edge or uh, background quilting. Um, the design that I actually have loaded on here is a Kimberbell uh, background quilting design that came with the autumn, the most recent autumn what project or whatever. I can't think of it. What's it called? <laughs> the Kimberbell Autumn Love? Falling for Autumn? Falling for Autumn? Yeah. Oh. Um, anyway, so. And then I have a magnetic hoop here that I use for the quilting. Um, this is a dime product. You can sell these magnetic hoops for every machine, just about every machi machine, but Bernina's, Janome's, Pass, um, Brothers, uh, and so on. So this is a really strong magnetic hoop. I've got it already lined up. Um, I found the center. I have the, um, the pointer is in the center. Of the design, so I know exactly where the middle is, and I am going to basically just hit start and it'll quilt. Actually, no, I need to skip a couple of steps <laughs> because oh, oops, that's my thing. Um, so that's the first step. This is for uh, placement and um, batting, and I'm not messing with any of that, I just want to get to the background quilting designs. And when I get started, I always like to pull the thread through. Let me 
to Um, where are my stickers? Here they are. I like to pull the thread through from the bottom so then I don't have a bunch of thread on the other side. And then just hit start. And then after it goes a couple stitches, I stop it, trim the thread, and then go again. Okay, while that's going, um, that's a <laughs> okay, so why don't I come over here and I will talk about the Okay. Can you guys hear me okay? Can you guys hear me okay? On the edge to edge, do you always start in the center and work out? Also, do you use regular sewing thread or embroidery thread? Okay. Good question. Um, good question. So, um, I use embroidery thread when I'm doing the edge to edge quilting. In this particular design, this is a Kimberbell background quilting design. So, um, I wanted to find where the center was so that it would be centered. Um, but if you're doing edge to edge, then let me see if I can find, where's our thread side from? Oh, it's around the corner. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the one that I did up at the Spokane show. This was an edge-to-edge -edge quilting design. So it's a little bit different, but they can, they kind of have the same uses. This might be easier to see on this side. Okay. Um, so, this is the back side of the design, and this was a dragonfly and flower design. And here's the starting point. Can you guys see that? And then it just went around, and it does the flowers, and then it comes over so on, and it does the whole design, and then it ends here, and then that's where you line up for the next one. And so you just redo it and get it lined up. I'll have to do a separate demonstration for that. Um, I don't think I have any on the USB. <laughs> we were running a little behind this morning. <laughs> um, so I hope that answers the question. Um, all right, we have a lot going on here. Okay, so sewing machines, those are also on sale. Some of these are in-store only, and some of them are um, online machines. So I'll mention those as I go through. But if there's a machine that you guys are interested in, a sewing machine or something that I can talk about or show you, that would be great too. This machine, this iron is really hot, by the way. Oh, well, you can shut it off now. Okay. I will turn it off. They also have some uh, quilting machines, long arm machines, that are on sale as well. Okay. Okay. So, are we ready for? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come here to me. Okay, I promise you guys, I've done this before. But it's been a while, so I'm following the manual. Here. I don't know. Can they hear me? Okay. Okay. We don't know which camera's on. Okay. Or which microphone's on. I don't know. It's been a while since I've done this, so I'm following the manual. So uh, bear with me. Okay. So you can see the threads on the back here, and then um, you're gonna take. So I can't, this is I the can't air see it. My serger. Yeah. So you're gonna take your thread, drop it into this one. And then from back to front, you're going to take the light shining right behind the front. Okay, there we go. 
So then you bring that thread through there. And you're going to take it through this tension. Can you see the tension thing here? Mm -hmm. I'm sure they have fancy names, but just a tension thing, say. And then coming down here, and then through that loop there. So, I've taken it through those already, so I'm just going to wait because this one's going to be This one, through, and down. So you just need to get it through these little loops, too. Okay, I'm also that one. Let's see. And then this one is going to come down and go over. Hang on. Uh, turn the page. I guess she wasn't quite ready for me to come over here. No, not yet. quite. But we'll get there. Bear with us. This is what manuals are for. Okay. Um. Do, 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 do. I know I did this before. Okay, I just can't see where that goes. Maybe we should do a giveaway while we're doing this. Yeah, do a giveaway. Okay. Hey, let's Give do a giveaway, minute. you guys. Do shall a we? giveaway. <laughs> oh, it's still going. Oh, this is that pretty. Okay, ready? Giveaway number one. That must be what is doing the sound. Okay, so maybe I should turn the mic on here and turn the mic off over there. For now? Okay. Here. Snap in your baby. what we do when we go remote. Why is there no sound? <laughs> we go with no sound. Turn the mic on. Um, they can't hear me. Um, 
mic's on on this one. It's on on this one too. Okay, sound is now on MB. <laughs> MB's not ready. <laughs> mm. MB's still reading. Is that one muted? I, un I did and then I unmuted it because it turned everything off. Now I can hear you both. Okay, so like mom says, she can hear me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> can you hear me? Now I can hear you both. Okay, very good. So, so we're good. You can hear me now. Can you hear me better now? Okay. Probably better because they've ordered us and stopped moving away. That might help. Too. Okay, cool. <laughs> anyway, what I was saying was, uh, I was revealing the stash box. So if anybody is a stash box subscriber and you haven't received or opened your box yet, cover your eyes and plug your ears because I'm going to show you what was in the stash box. So our swag for the month was a little gnome ornament. And it has a little red fab stash gift card. Boy, I really work. <laughs> With a little gift card on it. And then we had a different shaped box. It was small because it had to fit the new block of the month. Did you answer me? Sorry, I didn't hear. Yes, Sylvia, I'll go back over to my cheat sheet in just a minute. Ninety eight fifty. So we have our fat quarter. This is the stash box project. We have a little gnome table runner. Gathering of the gnomes table runner. That was really, really fun. It was really freaked me up. YouTube tutorials, and then we have a microwavable rice bag because it is cold. Yes, Sylvia, I will come right back to you momentarily. And then we have our new block of the month is starting, and so we have our fabric for that. Oh, thank you. And here are the blocks, sunflower blocks. Now, if you missed out and you didn't sign up for Stack Box in time, you can still get these. Still sign up and we can send you the blocks with the blocks that you need. And the big reveal is the project that we're doing for the block of the month. Elizabeth Hartman, Fab Farm. And we're going to do the small book. Done, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here is the finished table runner. No, I'm table runner. Hang on, I gotta figure out where the where the camera is. You know, you do. Anyway, so that's our new stack box. We just shipped those a couple days ago. Okay, Sylvia, let me switch back over here. Hang on. Oh, please. And look at the, now I only just started selling machines uh, in January. So I'm still learning all of the features. I would not call myself an expert on all of the Janome machines. <laughs> but I am working on it. So you said you ordered the 94.50, right? Um, I have, did you say 94.50? Hang on, let me scroll back through. And see, the 98.50, hey. Hmm, I don't know. 94, I don't even have that in my book. 98.50, or maybe that is the combination is that the combination sewing embroidery machine? Oh, here it is. Yes. Now that one, you, that one is a combination sewing and embroidery machine. The largest hoop size on that one is 6.7 inches by 7.9 inches. Um, so yes, you can do, ooh, it just moved. <laughs> Apparently I can't put any weight on that, but it's gonna go, it's gonna go down. Okay, <clears throat> so yes, you should be able to do edge to edge and background quilting um, on that machine. So that one, uh, that one is, here's my little cheat sheet. There you go. Nice fancy picture, isn't it? <laughs> so it has a top loading rotary hook button. Six one stop button holes, automatic thread tension, built in needle threader, snap on presser feet, memorize needle up down, one step needle plate conversion, seven piece feed dog, free arm drop feed, start stop button, speed control slider, automatic thread cutter with memory function. Ooh, those are nice. Twin needle guard, memory capability up to three megabytes of storage, auto declutch bobbin, winder, extra high presser foot lift, LCD, full color screen, foot pressure adjustment, 
sewing speed up to a thousand speed uh, stitches per minute. Has 175 built-in embroidery designs. Um, embroidery sewing speed 60 to 800 speed stitches per minute, and um, all the editing functions that you can do with your embroidery editor that comes with your machine. Um, it used to come on a CD, but now there's a download link for it. And that one is, uh, that machine is available for me to ship anywhere in the country. So that one is regularly $24.99 and it's on sale for $17.99. Um, I thought it was the one you mentioned on sale, but I think it will work great. Now I just need to sell things to justify, LOL. <laughs> I'm reading the comments on this little tiny iPhone screen. I probably should have put my readers on it. Okay, we're going to do the drawing for the giveaway. And I, Jackie's having to be very a lot more mobile today. <laughs> All right, so who's our winner? Ooh, Tony Hagen is our winner. Yay! Okay, let's see what kind of goodies should we send Tony? Let's send Tony this cute little ornament applique book from uh mom's stash and how about a little rope bowl too you need a little rope bowl too okay here we go so tony is our winner here we go i'm going to put this down um let's see the skyline s9 that's oh that might have been what you were thinking um that i was talking about so the skyline s9 that's also a combination sewing and embroidery machine um, and we have a Skyline S5 here. The 9 um, also has the largest embroidery size is 6.7 by 7.9. Um, that one is a really nice machine. It's normally $49.99 and it's on sale now until the end of December for $37.99. Ooh, Chris is doing the child boxes at church. Awesome. Thanks, Chris. Have a good evening. <sighs> Here's the my little cheat sheet for the Skyline S9. Um, anyway, so that was a really exciting, good price. And then the S5 is this guy here. This little table is extra, um, but it's also on sale. So the S5 is just a great sewing machine with a whole bunch of stitches. And it has your cutting, your back, your up and down on the needle, your reverse, start, stop. And it also has some embroidery stitches uh, programmed in, some fonts and things like that. I actually used the fonts on this machine when I did my um, my stockings last year, two years ago. Uh, this machine is normally $14.99 and it's on sale for $11.99 until the end of December. And then... Huh? 9450. 9450. Um, is the 9450 a good machine? Yes, they're all good machines. It is a good machine. Um, first, the 9450 or the 9850? Uh, 9450. So not, oh, the 9450 is a great machine. Um, one of my employees bought one. I don't know how to run it. <laughs> Um, it's a little bit too complicated for me. Best teacher. Best, Best teacher. Ever. This extra little light that comes out. But the 9450. Big difference. See the difference? Oh, yeah. Huge. Yeah. So a couple of the machines have this movable light here. Um, <clears throat> but I think that the, like I said, I'm not an expert on the machines, but I think the 9450 is now... Um, the 9480, they upgraded it. So it has um, lots of stitch regulators, ruler work mode, so you can do quilting with it. Um, yeah, all the things. It is a great machine. Um, it's normally $59.99. It's an in-store only machine, the 9480. Uh, and it's on sale for $49.99. Um, but you have to come here to see me to buy it. And then the 9410 
is probably the step down from that, and it's an online machine. It's regularly $49.99. It's on sale for $39.99. So here's the little, here's the little thing that I have on the 9410. High definition quilting, detachable AccuFeed, flex layered fabric, automatic presser foot lift, variable zigzag for free motion quilting, ruler work foot comes with it. 300 stitches, seven feet speed dog, um, straight stitch needle plate with three needle positions, maximum stitch width, nine millimeters, maximum stitch length, five millimeters, maximum sewing speed, 1,060 stitches per minute. Auto tension system, stitch composer, stitch creation software, USB port, high definition color, five inch LCD touchscreen, auto power off time. That's nice in case you forget to turn it off. Um, you can change it too if you want. Mm. Features and accessories, top loading, rotary hook buttons, superior needle threader, memorized needle up down, one step needle plate conversion with two included plates, start stop button, heat control slider, locking stitch button, automatic thread cutter, twin needle guard, easy reverse button, advanced plate markings, easy set bobbin, independent bobbin winding motor, 11 inches to the right of the needle. Ooh, that's lots of space. Buttonhole foot and stabilizer plate for thick fabric. Double accessory bins plus upper storage, full intensity lighting system, snap on presser feet. And that one also has that little extendable light that we showed you on the 9450. And here's the 9480. And that one is also an in store machine. And then these little extra tables, um, sometimes they come with it. Oh, did you get it? She's over there going, yes. I got two of them done. <laughs> So, let's see. What else? There were some other ones that I wanted to tell you about. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm moving her laptop. Hang on. Okay, the 6700 Professional is also on sale. Um, 6700P. I had somebody in the store today who said that she has one of those. That one's on sale for $32.99. Um, and then the multi needles are also on sale right now. Regularly, the 7. Seven, the, the MB7 has seven needles. It's normally $99.99 and it's on sale for $67.99. Sandy says, do you take trade-ins? Um, I, I think so. <laughs> uh, baby, come talk to me. Um, we can, I for sure on Janome machines, but I don't think I can on really other machines because I'm not an authorized dealer for the other machines. Um, but yes, we should be able to do some trade-ins. And then the MB4S is a four needle machine. It's regularly $79.99 and it's on sale for $54.99. And let's see, the fanciest Janome machine is the M17 and it's regularly $19.99 and it's on sale for $16.99. And that one is also embroidery, quilting and sewing machine. And it comes with all kinds of things. It comes with um, the extra table and lots of goodies. I don't have one here in the store though, because they are expensive. Are we ready? No. Ready? No. I've got two, but I can't find one of the other ones. Let's go over here and look at the edge to edge quilting design and see how it came out. So I don't know how much of that you can see, but we've got some leaves and little swirls here that came out really cute but that design I probably should have done it I should have stitched it out first before I did it <laughs> oh well oh well we also have the 3160s in the machine in here we actually have 3160s and 4120s and those are on sale too um this one I don't think we had a chance to plug it in um but yeah Mm -hmm. Yes, let's do that. We've got some other, we've got some live selling we're going to do too here at this Okay. So anyway, if you're thinking about a machine, I would love to earn your business, come in and see us or give us a call. There's a lot of great deals to be had and you'll be seeing some of those out on our social media and in our emails. One of the new things that we just got in, we had a customer that came in um, that wanted some of the little Lori Holt um, little Lori Holt uh, calendar things 
and I did just talk about the Mighty Core Hokey. Okay, so this is the new Lori Holt um, planner. These are really cute. Comes with uh, each month, January, February, March, April, May, June, and so on. It's the Sew and Stitch calendar. It fits in the binder. And it has a monthly calendar. Can you hear me now? Oh, I don't know. How about now? Can you hear me now? Maybe this. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I thought we could get away with the one that's Thank you, Cheryl. I was off. So, anyway, we've got. So, these are the. Um, this is the Lori Holt monthly count, the new calendar thing that came out. So, this is for 2024. All right, sound is gone. Shereen says, yep, we'll be back here in just a second. All right, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. You get the idea. Just got our cute little washi tape down here. And then in the back, she has more little tabs for quilt, stitch, yarn, notes. But yeah, we had a customer that came in the other day and she was so excited that these had come in. So these are available in case you want a really cute little planner, calendar, pages, all the things. And the other pages are over here. These are for the little quilty and stitchy and silly things. Busy Bee Stitch Binder pages. Wait. Hang on. Oh, yes. So this one, it says, keep track of your Lori Holt stitch alongs and your other cross stitching and embroidery projects. Keep track of your friends and social media contact ledger sheet. And index features included for easy reference to guide your 32 stitching projects. Fits perfectly into any of Lori Holt's binders. Use it with a calendar printed in the US on premium paper. So this is for the stitch portion, portion of the binder. This is for, this one is for the quilt portion of the binder. And it has some grid paper on it. Can you see that? Probably not. Has some grid paper, quilt project index and ideas. It's a great way to stay organized and keep track of all of your ideas and the projects that you're wanting to work on. And then it also has one for yarn work projects. And I'm sure that she probably has shown this up close and personal on her YouTube channel. <clears throat> um, what else? Can we do some lace down? Right. Okay. Hold on. Let me go get it. These are just things that are just there that are not part of it, but the other three. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Here's our fancy little cart that I pull all of our Life sewing stuff on. You guys ready? Ooh. Can you hear me still? Still good? Yeah, sound? Mm -hmm. Okay, we have, ooh, we got a new ironing board cover, one of Lori's new ironing board covers. Isn't that cute? This is item number five, and it is $26.95. Should we pull it out of the bag and see what it looks like? Why do we have why do we have 10 angry people on? Who was mad at us? We've got some are, we've got some unhappy people on Facebook, I think. What's going on? I don't know. I only show some broken hearts. Hmm. Is the sound gone out again? I don't know. Probably. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. Here's the cover for the ironing board. Isn't that cute? Can you guys hear me? Is there anybody there? Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Leslie says, I'm happy. Good. Thank you. I'm glad. All right. So this is item number five. This is the new ironing board cover. How cute is that? All right. Susie's here. Tamara's here. 
good. They're saying yes, yes. Good, good. Ugh. So anyway, ironing board cover, new one. I don't think I'm going to try to fight that back in there. We have another wool scrap bundle. Um, these are little scrap bags. These have some more spring and fall colors. There's some really bright colors in here. Can you see those? I think it's one screen for life selling instead of two, but you would have to move over there because that's the sound. For the life selling, can you make it just one screen instead of two? That's what killed the sound when I picked that off the stage. Oh, that's the mic. Yep. Okay, so we can try. Um, that's yeah, that's not yeah, I'm worried about that. You can move if you move over binary desk. I can do that. Okay, so I will move over binary desk. So here we go. I'll take that. <laughs> Just didn't like us being so far apart, huh? Huh? It just didn't like us being so far apart. I guess. I think they want to see the items when they're out there. Yes. <coughs> <coughs> okay. All right, I'm coming in. Bumping wheels. Yep. All right. So the uh, the ironing board cover was number five. Number five, and it's twenty six ninety five, and it's the new one. Is it the Jenny? I can't read the comments. Isn't the Jenny have an air threader here just fine? Isn't the Jenny have an air threader? I'm not sure. John, Jean, I'm not sure what you're asking. <laughs> Carby says, no worries, you guys are just extra small in the comments. Box it up. Janome mistyped to Jenny. Oh, I think it's maybe the Janome. Oh, okay. okay, so this is item number four. This is a little wool scrap bag. And we've got some spring colors in there and some fall colors. This one's item number four, and it's $25. Great little wool scrap bag. It's about nine ounces of pieces are about wool. that big. Yeah, they're about... Three and a half, four Three inches by five, five inches, inches or so. Mm -hmm. So we have one of those. Um, then we have, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, we have some of <clears throat> some back order bundles. How come they're on sale? For the month? Yeah. Pre cuts? Yeah. yeah. Oh. We got through on sale for the whole month, you guys. Did you know that? We're only halfway through, Christy. <laughs> I think I probably told you that last week. But, yeah, so pre-cuts are on sale, 10% off this month. So Jean says, Janome. Yeah, so is, isn't the Janome have an air threader? Yes. That's what we were trying to get threaded here. I got it now. So when you're done buying some stuff, okay. I'll show you. So we'll do some live selling, and then we'll come back to it really quick. Um, but yes, it does have an air threader, and it's the um, serger, the surging machine. There's two. No, there's one. There's one. Okay. This one is the Nutcracker uh, Fat Quarter Bundle. There are nine Fat Quarters in here. It's item number three. It's normally $32.95, and it's on sale for $29.66. Do we have a picture we can pull up on it? Mm -hmm. The camera is very I far away. I how far it would be. <laughs> I can hold yeah, it it's too far. <laughs> I this know. They're little nutcrackers on there. Oh, could I have the other camera back? Mm -hmm. Let me try this. Can I hold it for you? Yeah. Oh, you just can see. Let's add it back to the stage. Okay. Martha says, finally made it. Hello, all. <laughs> hi. Hello, hello. Okay, here. Now can you see it? Wait, that's upside down. Can you see? Can you see? Here we go. Hi, Martha. Here's another nutcracker uh, shot. Do we have sound? <laughs> have some tonals over here. We just have two cameras going. This is always fun. <laughs> there we go. And then we have cute little bias. Cute little colors. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. Then we have a scrap bundle. Item number, I had the same Janome, but my daughter took it home with her. Oops, sneaker. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a little scrap bundle. This is the brushed cotton um, juniper, and this is $18, and it's a one-pound scrap bundle, which is approximately three yards. This is item number 
when? Eighteen dollars. That work? Can you see it? Item number one. Next, we have another scrap bundle. This is that dragonfly fabric. All the same collection. Lots of pretty blues and greens in here. One is sold to Maria Ibarra. Thank you, Maria. And here is the second scrap bundle. This one's also $18. It's about a pound of fabric. All the dragonfly fabric, including what we tied it with. That is item number 10. <clears throat> item number 10. Okay, then we have a really pretty batik bundle. And this is the blues and purples. This is normally $39.95 and it's on sale for $35.96 with a 10% off. Maria got item number 10. Thank you on YouTube. Um, this one is $35.96. This is item number 11. It's called the Lava Solids Grapevine. We curated this bundle right here in the store. Um, so that's item number 11, $35.96 on sale. We have, in case you didn't know, another subscription that we have is a Fat Quarter Bundle subscription, and we have a Lori Holt version, and there's cords everywhere. It's a Lori Holt version and a designer version, and this one is one of our retired Lori Holt uh, bundles. So Sheree got item number 11. Thank you, Sheree. Um, so here is our little retired, this is a Lori Holt stash bundle. This is a retired bundle. These are normally $39.95, and they're on sale for 10% 10, 10, 10 off. So you can do the math on that. Third. <laughs> oh, she put whole thing. Oh, the whole thing. It's not available online. This is, uh, oh, sale price is $35.96. It's item number two. And Maria, we're asking if we have your email and shipping address. Can you send that to us at info at rebsbabstash.com? Um, it also comes with little, little buttons. We did little themed buttons and then our stash builder, uh, always comes with a little idea card of some fun little projects that you can make with your bundle, or you can just add it to your stash. So this one is a retired Lori Holt one. This was from October and this is item number two, in case you would like one of these. How many of these do we have? Uh, three, no. total. three total. And that's item number two. Next, we have, let's see what else do we have. Oh, we have another scrap bundle. This one is the Peacock Flourish line by Ann Lauer. All peacock fabrics, all from the same collection, is $18. And this is item number nine. One pound scrap bundle. And Maria, we are looking for your email and your shipping address. If you can let us know, that would be great. Just send us the email at info at rebsfabstash.com. Item number nine is an $18 bundle. Maria got item number nine, perfect. And Maria, we need you to email us. See the email that's going across here on the bottom of the screen? We need you to email us your email so we can find you in our system. Okay, we also have a couple of five yard cuts. Um, we have another peacock flourish. This is a whole five yards of this fabric, which is great for the back of the quilt. And it's $35.95, five yards, and it's 21, item number 21. So it works out to about $7 a yard, seven sixteen, I think. So this is item number 21. All right. Next, we have Curiouser and Curiouser. This is a Sylvia Got 21. Thank you. She got that on Facebook. Um, this is a Tula Pink print that we have five yards of. Um, so $35.95. And it's item number 20. Item number 20. Okay. Now, we are ready to show you the air threader, <laughs> right? Yes, okay. I think so. Okay, let's see. 
So we're going to go back through this can you confirm late at the top. Two for tomorrow, I think. Tomorrow. The lower one. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow wants two, and Jean wants 20, I think. Okay. okay. All right. Tomorrow so, wants two, and Jean got number 20. Tomorrow got number two on Facebook or on YouTube. Leslie wants the bundle for Lori. Hopefully, we can get her one. And Leslie also wants the Lori Holt bundle. Yes, we can get you one of those as well. And Jean got number 20. Got it. All right. So we're going to go down through this loop. And this setting needs to be at STD. It goes that way. But for threading purposes, STD. And then we are going to put this lever down here needs to be to the left and oh, to the right to the right could be left or then i don't know and then i'm just going to pop that thread right in this little hole can you go about that and i need to push it down about two centimeters an inch somewhere whichever you like and then i need to flip this over because this will indicate that i'm going to thread this side so i do that make sure these are out of the way and then pull up this lever and then just push it down and you got to listen really carefully i hope it sounds good enough because it's fun it just goes poof <laughs> and in it goes now so you know where it went it went it should have gone where is it? through this but it didn't go i'll try that again okay i don't know why it didn't go <laughs> That ruined it. It was so good. It went there earlier. So this this one, I believe, is going to come out of this. It's going to thread this part over here. And I don't know if you've ever hand-threaded serges. They can be a real pain. So yeah. I remember growing up, we had one, and I was working on a project or whatever, and it was a pain in the... Yeah. The, the, the loopers are the worst, and, and you have to do them just so. So they're very picky. All right. So see that vanish through there? And here is the thread now coming out of, if I can grab it with these tweezers. Can you see it there? Wow. There. These tweezers don't want to grab it. Hmm. Okay. It's so tough. There we go. So that came through there. So now we're going to do the second spool. So I'm going to flip this to this side and find the thread. Here it is. So I'll go under the tension plate through there, whoop, around that, and again, put into a little hole, a couple of centimeters. It doesn't seem to want to go any further this time, so I'll let it be. Lift this up and down. And it wasn't in there enough. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Get out of there. Looper time. This. Bloopers. Okay. Oh, it went in deeper that time. Okay. Now it'll do it. Okay. Up and down. And that one has come out. Well, should have come out of there. Okay. Well, I'll we'll try that again. We're not doing a good I think selling these. Well, I think, well, we're human. What can I say? <laughs> I think that the first time I did it, I didn't leave enough thread. So that's possibly why it's not doing it. That's kind of crazy, though. You put it in that little hole there, and I it know. comes out on the other side. And it makes a poofy sound. It's really yeah. fun. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. I had that. Well, let's try it. Oh, oh yep. Do you wow. see it fly out there? Oh, my gosh. It's like right there. Should we do that one again? Make sure the camera's on that one, because it's really fun. Okay. Because it just flies out of there. All right. So we're okay. going to do, do that one again, just for the heck of it. Just because it, it's fun. Can you guys see that? Oh, hang on. Let me get the camera on there. There we go. Where is it? Ah! <laughs> it's tangled up. Okay. Okay, it's going to come out right here. If I can get it in the hole. <laughs> it doesn't really seem to want to go this time like the first time. That was weird. All right. Perseverance, perseverance. We'll get it. 
There we go. Now he's going in. All right. Let me check that one over there. Oh, that's probably the fire. Okay, up and watch over here. Bing! Wow. <laughs> it flies right out. Just came out right here. Yep. See that? <laughs> And then these two you just thread around and thread in there, but we are, there also has a needle threader. Uh -huh. So you can push it, put that back up. You push it to the right for the right needle and then you pull it out. So that's for the right needle uh -huh. and then you pull it out to be the left needle. Okay. So, and that just threads like the regular needle threader. Cool. Yay, finally did So it. are those the bottom threads then that it does? Yes, those are the bottom needle threads. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, Whew. now I just Whew. have to do that many times to remember it. <laughs> All right, let's do a giveaway again. All right, next giveaway, embroidery. <laughs> I'm gonna get you guys going on this embroidery. I'm telling you, it's really fun. Okay, embroidery is the next giveaway. Maria said she just sent the info. Thank you very much. Thanks, Maria, appreciate that. Okay, while well, you guys are typing in your embroidery words for the giveaway, I am going to think about what I am going to show you next. Oh, let's see here. We have, ooh, we have some more live selling fun things. We have some more scrap bundles. Those are fun. You guys like those. <clears throat> and don't forget, we have free shipping for over $100. So everybody, get up to $100, and then you get free shipping, and that'll be fun. Okay, this is a panel from Flower Market by In the Beginning Fabrics, and it's uh, $9.95. Really, really cute. Cute panel, and it's our last one. It's item number 27. Make some cute little, cute little pillows, little table topper, wall hanging. Very, very cute. All right, so I'll let you guys type those in. Then we have item number, another scrap bundle. This is item number, let's see, it's $12. This one has some tonals and some motorcycle fabric. The motorcycle prints, it's item number 22. Item number 22. Here are tonals and we've got some parts machine parts, and we have some words, and then a couple of, of tones. So that is another scrap bundle, one pound scrap bundle, $12, item number 22. And let's see, I wanted to let you guys know that we have restocked the Vintage Christmas Quilt Kit. So in case you haven't done yours yet, this was very popular at the Spokane show. People were wanting to get this kit. We were out, but now we have it. This is the sampler using the cozy Christmas fabric. And we have all the original fabrics. And it's in this really cute organza bag. And we also include the vintage trim. This is used on the binding. And so we have these available for $289.95. We've been out for a while. And now they are back in stock. Ooh, pretty. Look at those cute little sparkles and the solids. And then if you are making the giant version of this quilt, there's about three yards of fabric you'll need in addition. Otherwise, you've got enough to make the whole quilt. Because How in big that is book, going? well, the big one, the, the when she does her her thing, she tells you how to do the blocks in both a six inch and a twelve inch finished block. Okay. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six feet across, plus the sashing, plus wow. the border. So it would be a king size quilt if you did all the blocks, twelve inch blocks. And if you do six inch blocks, then it's half the size. It's half the size. <laughs> it's smaller. <laughs> but anyway, wanted to let you know that these kits are back in stock. I don't know how long we'll have them because they do tend to sell out fast. When we had it in our email the other day, we sold a bunch of them um, already. So. When does it drop? Huh? Does it drop? Yes. She's going to draw for the giveaway. And I'm going to 
continue picking me out of my <laughs> socks. <laughs> I got hay in my socks. Is it sticking to your feet? Yeah, well, when I go out there to feed the horses, the hay just kind of falls in, you know? Mm -hmm. Woo Our winner is Mary Baxton. Mary, Mary. Um, where's my giveaway? Behind me on the floor. Behind me on the floor. Oh, yeah. All right. Perfect. Let's send Mary a little panel quilt pattern book from Mom's Stash. Wondering how to use panels. Come along with us as we decipher and explain the mystery and the math involved with adjusting panels for your quilts. Ooh, great. That sounds like a great book. Ooh, Mary, I hope you enjoy that. Mary says, thank you, I'm so lucky today. Woohoo! Okay. Uh, what else do we have here to like? We have the chicken table runner that's up here behind me. Hold on. Move it. Maybe Jackie can do a close up. I can do Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Want to go do a close up of it? Yeah. All right. Well, that one won't have a number, but we can add it. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's oh, yeah. Good. That's good. Can you see the screen over here on the iPad? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Go. There you go. That's There's the Jackie. Line. Everybody say hi to Jackie. <laughs> There's her arms. There's her arms. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? I'm kind of blocked in otherwise. So this is a Designs by Juju uh, embroidery design. You just download the design off of her website. It uses a bunch of Lori Holt fabrics. Look at those cute little chickens. Aren't they adorable? They're ready to go in town. <laughs> <laughs> so we have this little fabric kit available. Um, and it uses the Lori Holt, I said that already, it uses the Lori Holt fabrics. So those kits are $49.95 and it comes with the fabric for backing. This has some slightly different, no, oh, this one is not a Lori Holt colors, or a Lori Holt, this is not the Lori Holt um, kit. Yeah, no, but you didn't have the let me show you the <clears throat> fabric. Oh, it does have a couple of Lori Holt fabrics in here. But here are the fabrics. We've got some reds, some teeds, bindings. Adorable, cute. Some little blues, stems. So, yes. So we have those, if you would like. Chicken table runner. And what else do we have here? Okay, so nobody wanted that. Ooh, we have some more. And we have one more of these. This is a Lori Holt light brown fat quarter bundle. Ooh, look. Okay. Lost in stock for a while. <laughs> Lost in stock. Yep. Have to make some more. <laughs> we have to make some more. So this is um, 12 fat quarters, Lori Holt light brown. And it's uh, normally $43.95 and it's on sale for $39.56. It's item number 12. And it has some of the shabbies and some of the background fabrics and some hard to find bake sale because it's out of print. So that's item number 12. I kind of like being nice up close and personal with you guys up there as close to the camera and everything. Mm -hmm. Leaning over the table. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay, item number 19 is the Kimberbell Ooh. slap bands. Ooh. <laughs> I know, these are stabilizer slap bands. You just slap them around your stabilizer so you can remember which one's which. So you can remember which one's which because they tend to look very much alike. They do. You've got them all, all together. All so um, let's see. So the, and it has a little label on there. So this is the ultra. I don't. I can't see what it says. Cutaway. Yeah, this one's a cutaway, ultra light cutaway, for example. Isn't that great? Perfect. It looks nice on your wall. However, you store your stabilizer. Uh, let's see. So this is item number 19. It's $39.98. This is a great way to keep all of your stabilizers separate and they're also color coded. So when you're going through the embroidery projects, the Kimberbell instructions, um, they're all uh, color coded as well. So you don't even have to go looking reading on your things. You just go with the color and it matches. Isn't that great? Very, very smart. 
love that she does those. Those always, those do well. Oh, we have another, we have a couple of other little goodies here. We have a little Kimberbell Fat Quarter Bundle. These are the stripes. Some of these are no longer available. These make really cute candy canes. Where's the camera? Here it is. No, you're right there. Item number 16. It's normally $25.95 for these seven little fat quarters, and they're on sale for $23.56. And here are your colors. I do like that animation close to the camera. <laughs> All right, so that is item number 16. Cherie got that one. All right. Thank you, Cherie. Then we have another one of the mystery fat quarter bundles. There are five fat quarters in here. And one of mom's little bundles. Cherie, this matches the one I sent you last week, by the way. And it is item number 17. Five fat quarters for $10. And it matches the one we sent you two weeks ago, I think. All right. We have, oh, Maria Ibarra, your email has not yet come through. You can also send it to us via the chat button on webstabstash.com. So Maria, we haven't seen your email come through yet. Okay, next, and then we're gonna call it a day because it is 5.15 and my kid needs to go home. Uh, 17. Or 17. Bundle. Cool. Mm -hmm. 17. Let's do, um, let's do a size scrap bundle. I think it's this. It's this. Oh, okay. Leslie, we got your bundle. <laughs> 17. We had to find it. Okay. This one is some little fall colored tonals. Tone on tone. <coughs> Fabric dust. Um, this is item number eight. It's normally $30.95. It's on sale for $27.86. And this is 10 fat quarters. All fall colored. And of course, wrapped in our little rolls. Cherie got that one. Thank you, Cherie. Are you going to do this honey bun? Oh, yeah. I keep putting things down. <laughs> this one is a little Moda honey bun. It's called Farm Charm. So these are one and a half inch strips. And it has some really cute little prints, small little chickens, and awesome colors. There you go. Blues, reds, grays, and whites. This is normally $30. It's on sale for $27. It's item number 18. And you get this little Farm Charm one and a half inch bundle. Maria says, can you give me the email again? Sorry, no problem, Maria. We will put that here in the comments for you in just a second. And you can see it nice and clear. I know Maria's been on here before. Here we go. So info at redstabstash.com. That's our customer service. Our adorable Cheryl is standing by, ready to send the invoices as soon as the live is over. She's probably looking at me like, Chrissy, would you hurry up and get off? I'm tired. I want to go to bed. Me too. Um, item number 15 is a Goose Tails Fat Quarter Bundle. Normally $36.95. It's on sale for $33.26. There are 10 Fat Quarters in here. And we have some solids and some tonals. And we have some mice and a splattered cat and cute little dots, dotty dots, more mice, and another splatted cat, and more mice, and another splatted cat, and then the goose tails, little bundle. Okay, so that's item number 15, $36.95 is the regular price, it's on sale for $33.26, item number 15. Okay. And Emily's texting me still. So let's wrap this up. Um, we had some giveaways. I hope you guys had a good time kind of looking at the machines. And uh, there's more information will be out on our website soon since they just dropped a bunch of prices until the end of December. So check that out. Watch your email if you're thinking about a machine that would love to earn a business. 
And we have some that are in-store only machines, and we have some that are uh, also online. Most of the machines are actually online machines. And that says, oh, no, I missed you tonight. You're going to have to go back and look at the beginning. All and right. And it didn't sell. She can comment after. Yep, if there's anything that didn't sell, you can always comment after, um, and we can get that for you. There's actually a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't even show. But I am supposed to tell them about the stash sales and the sales for the weekend. Um, it's under the blanket there. <clears throat> okay, so um, let's see. So don't forget to shop through our affiliate links, like the video, share the video, tell all your friends about how awesome we are. Oh, and did you just mention on the website when you look for the affiliate links, uh -huh. it actually says partners. Mm -hmm. That confused me as, as well. So okay. I was looking for affiliate. Ah. So if you're looking for the affiliate links, the top at the top of our website it says partners. Yes. So. Partnership links, and that's our. Uh, whenever you buy through those links, it gives us a little, a little help. Um, okay, so free shipping over hundred dollars. Let's see. Uh, we revealed the stash box a little bit earlier. So if you have a stash box and you haven't received yours yet, or you haven't opened it, close your eyes and cover your ears. Although the sound wasn't working half the time during the look. So <laughs> sure. um, okay, so tomorrow we have stitch wide backs. So that's from the Stitch Collection. Three yard pets on sale for $38.95. Cherie says, I'm still wanting my Red Stab Stash t shirt in an extra large light blue, royal blue, hot pink. Okay, I wasn't sure if we did that or not. I thought we had written that down for somebody else, but we'll get that taken care of tonight, Cherie. <clears throat> and yes, Maria, we did get your email. Thank you. Okay, so tomorrow the stash sale is three yards of Lori Holt stitch wide backs. For $38.95. That's 25% off our regular price. Um, this weekend, we have 10% off select Kimberbell products. So those of you that are embroiderers, make sure you read your email on Friday because we have 10% off select Kimberbell stuff. And now through December, there are sales on every single Janome machine that exists. Um, so check out our website for that. The in-store machines, I haven't figured out how to put on the website without getting in trouble with Janome. <laughs> so just come in and see me. Um, but there are some really good deals on Janome machines right now. <clears throat> um, and let's see. We have a link to the collection of things that we were going to show you tonight that I we got a little bit distracted with some of the things. But I did want to let you know that the chicken salad and vintage Christmas Lord Holt kits are back in stock right now. We showed you the Lori Holt binder calendar, super cute, and I think that's that's it. Anyway, thank you for being here, you guys. Thanks for letting us kind of show you some of the machines. It was fun to not to kind of move and be in a different place. Um, hope you guys had a good time uh, learning about the machines, and yeah, thanks for being here. We will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>